Hi, welcome along to another video. This week we're going to do a Texas special. Coming up at the end, I'll answer a couple of questions from YouTube and Facebook comments. So to get into the Texas stuff, this is the Texas Weather Modification Association website. If we look there, it says for every $1 put into the weather modification program, the return of investment directly is roughly $19 with a statewide impact upwards to $38. So you can see that at the bottom there in bold is 1 to 19, 1 to 38. Listed are the West Texas Weather Modification Association, the South Texas Weather Modification Association and the Panhandle Groundwater Conservation District. You can see that combined in total over the years $16.5 million as a direct effect at a ratio of 1 to 19 and it's doubled up for statewide which firstly confirms to you that Texas weather modification programs have a statewide effect financially speaking it is double the amount of the direct effect of the weather modification i.e. in the local area the target area so if it's 16.5 million in the target area is 33 million statewide that's double we'll look at a map in a minute of some of the target areas briefly but don't think for a moment that that means it's just the target area because they're confirming there that there's a statewide effect or for every dollar spent on weather modification there's a 38 dollar productivity from that if you like the way to do that sum on how to find out how much is invested or has been invested we divide the 16 and a half million dollars by 19 with one dollar invested equals 19 dollars productivity so if we divide the 16 and a half million dollars by 19 we get 872 thousand nine hundred and fifty four dollars so 873 thousand dollars that gives you some idea of how much money is involved in that stuff so there's the South Texas Weather Modification Association website 2020 target areas there's Texas with all of the target areas West Texas Weather Modification Association Panhandle Groundwater District and their precipitation enhancement frequently answered questions the 2020 cost for the program was $155,000 the program is funded through the district's regular budget in other words the public are paying to have their weather modified to the tune of $155,000 a year that was for 2020 that's what people's taxes have been paying for so the regulations rules regulations and modes of procedure relating to the Texas Weather Modification Act all the links are in the information section of this video so all the information is shown here so you can check for yourself so the date this was issued 1976 45 years ago if we go over to the texas state historical association for a bit of further history and they've been operating since 1897 so the first experiments took place in 1892 the rain making team moved to camp farwell near san antonio and initiated a new series of experiments after no rain resulted they declared the experiment and the theory faulty between 1910 and 1914 there were additional experiments in gaza and lynn counties on the high plains the results were inconclusive and the trials ceased so first weather modification experiments in texas were happening around 110 to 130 years ago that's the experiments the number of commercial weather modification projects in Texas increased markedly in the 1950s and 60s, prompting the state to adopt a statute controlling cloud seeding operations. The Texas Weather Modification Act of 1967, etc., so 60 to 70 years ago, saw a dramatic increase in the number of commercial weather modification projects so much so legislation was introduced in 1967 53 years ago so you can check all this information out for yourself and you can confirm for yourself that texas has had a very active weather modification program for the last 60 to 70 years that's the same as california just for your environmental observation you can conclude from your for yourself what you want 
on what the effects of 60 to 70 years of weather modification in Texas would have. So the regulations exist, all the links are provided, administrative rules of the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, the water code. For those of you that don't know how to search documents, so you'll see this water code one has got 2,252 pages. Press control and then F on your keyboard. And that brings up a box in the top right hand corner, a search box where you type in what you want to find and it'll find all of those words in the document. So for example here, weather modification, you'll see in the top right there that there's one stroke four, one slash four, so that's one of four. If you hit the arrows next to it, up and down, it'll take you through the various mentions of that in the document. So you can find what you're looking for quite easily rather than looking for page 502. So now briefly to finish up this week's video, there was a YouTube question in the comments, is this satire? My primary answer to you friend is no, this is not satire. Primarily, it is to educate future generations that may have questions as to what's going on and whether they are being told the truth regarding certain areas of environmentalism, military capabilities, etc, etc. It's for their, their use because our generations, the older generations, have sold them down the river and it's going to be down to them to own this planet and bring solutions to the political jokers we currently have in 2021. Secondarily, I would have to answer, after going onto the Cambridge Dictionary website and looking at the word satire, a way of criticising people or ideas in a humorous way, especially in order to make a political point. So my second answer would have to be, yes, probably. On Facebook someone commented that my voice is hypnotic and that I'm coming across as if I'm telling you that everything is okay, you do not need to take action or respond to any information you see in these videos or anything like that. It could not be more the opposite. If you can watch these videos and honestly look at the information, confirm the information with the links, such as what's in this one about Texas modifying their weather for the last 60 or 70 years, if you can look at that information and not feel like you need to take any action, then I can assure you the problem isn't me or my voice. Now, a hypnotic voice. So back to the Cambridge Dictionary, hypnotic, making you feel as if you want to sleep or are in a trance, a state of not being completely conscious or in control of yourself. So if my voice makes you sleep, obviously I understand if it's boring, then fair enough, probably fall asleep. I imagine this information isn't exactly boring, but it equals a state of not being in control of yourself. So if my voice is hypnotic, you are not in control of yourself. It sounds like the problem isn't really me or my voice or the information in the videos. It sounds like you would need to get control of yourself, surely. So there you go. Please keep your comments coming and your responses, your happy faces, your love hearts, your angry faces, your vomit emoticons. It's all good fun. If you feel that you don't need to take action about weather modification or geoengineering or you call it chemtrails whether from a environmental climate area or a military area depending on who you believe is doing what for whatever reason if you feel you do not need to take action on that well done good for you to those of you that do feel you need to take action on that like like the amount of us that have done street activism, political activism on the subject of geoengineering. Well done. Keep it up. Keep your faith. Eh? Don't let the naysayers bring you down. Don't let the idiots bring you down. There's a lot of stuff going on in this time. Look after yourselves. Don't give up. Never give up. See you next time.